Hi, I'm Tim Warner from CBT Nuggets. Welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget presentation on RMAN Basic Configuration in Oracle Database 11G. RMAN is the executable program name for a tool in Oracle Database that's formally called Recovery Manager. Now, RMAN is our go-to inbox tool for database and data object backup, restore, and recovery. What's wonderful about RMAN is that it's accessible in so many different ways. There's a command line client. There's also a GUI support through the Oracle Enterprise Manager web console. Oracle, in addition, makes the application programming interface for Recovery Manager available to third-party developers. So you'll often find enterprise backup utilities that enable both hot and cold backups of Oracle Database. And sure enough, if you look under the hood, behind the curtain, you'll find that those third-party applications are making calls into RMAN and RMAN. RMAN is actually doing the heavy lifting with your backups. Now, when you think about the work of the database administrator, you know how crucial disaster recovery is, how absolutely important it is that we have a reliable backup and restore routine. Thus, RMAN is our friend as Oracle administrators. As far as RMAN basic configuration is concerned specifically, there are two ways about this. There's setting permanent or persistent configuration values. We can do that through the command line utility using the configure statement. I'll show you in a demo upcoming how that works. Or you can do session specific. Interactively in the RMAN client, we can just change configuration parameters on the fly that way. Or very commonly, what we'll do is write out a script that performs, for instance, a backup routine and configures the environment just for the duration of that script. Or of course, through Enterprise Manager, we can tweak ad hoc options using GUI controls that persist only for that one job. Now let's hop into a live instance of Oracle Database and take a closer look. Here we are on a Windows Server 2008 R2 box called Aura Nugget, on which I've installed Oracle Database 11G R2. We'll fire up an administrative command prompt, and because the RMAN executable is in our search path that's configured for us automatically in Oracle for Windows installation, we can connect to RMAN without specifying its path. To make a direct connection to our default Oracle database, I'll run RMAN target forward slash. By the way, if you want detailed information on using RMAN and what all of this feedback means, please see my CBT Nuggets training series on Oracle Database DBA2, where we spend a tremendous amount of time with RMAN. Once we're in the RMAN client environment, we can run show all to see a list of all of our persistent options. And again, we'll discuss what all of these mean in the CBT Nuggets training. We unfortunately don't have the time to go into that here, but I do want to draw your attention to any persistent option that's at its current default. You'll see this little hash value where it says default. So at a glance, you can see where I've made a change. For instance, retention policy, it looks like I've switched that to two. To make a change persistently, we use the configure command. So if I want to turn on backup optimization, I can simply type configure backup optimization on tells us that it's successfully stored and if I do a show all we'll now see that that options turned on and it will remain on for every job unless and until we override it in say a script files or a run block so we could do a run block where we allocate channels and change our default device type from disk to maybe tape we can use the format clause to change the location of our backup file. Any change we make to RMAN configuration within a run block would be persistent only for the duration of that script, you see? The other way to modify RMAN default configuration values is through the database control, also called the Oracle Enterprise Manager web console. And you see we have a shortcut for it created by default. Oracle for Windows is especially helpful as far as setting environment variables for you and the like. We're going to log in as the sys user, specifying the sys DBA privilege, of course. Once we're in Oracle Enterprise Manager, we'll navigate to the availability tab and under backup recovery 
recovery setup, we'll hit backup settings. And this gives us all of those options that we just saw on the RMAN command line client, but in a more user-friendly context. Now the disadvantage here is that you don't learn the underlying syntax. For instance, you know the RMAN names for these options here when you're in the client, but they're named differently in the graphical interface. For instance, instead of configure parallelism, there's just a text box control here where we can change that, set our default backup location. It's a nice way for a beginner to get started, but certainly if you're planning on taking the Oracle certification exams, you'll need to understand the RMAN syntax behind these options. Now note also, sometimes a new administrator misses this, that Oracle pages often are embedded. That is, the backup settings page actually consists of three tabs here. One covering hardware device settings, two configuring backup set options, and then third we have our retention policies. Thus, in a nutshell, I've introduced you to RMAN basic configuration in Oracle Database 11G. I hope that this was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.